Peter Kunstadt. Welcome to Kunstadt Sports, where every employee is an athlete. Uh, with me today is uh, Krista Bellinger, the manager of the, our Kanata store, and she'll help me with this presentation. In this video, we will go over the actual process of fitting a ski boot to a skier. First thing you want to do um, is make sure that you're going to have time because boot fitting is a lengthy process and it's quite important that you make sure that you do get the proper boot. So some of the things that you want to make sure you have when you do go for boot fitting is a, a proper pair of socks. These make a huge difference and they can either make you have a good day or a bad day. Also another thing that we usually take a look at is an insole. Typically inside a boot what you get is a thin thin insole that does not give your foot a lot of support. So this is another thing that can make your boot very comfortable. A couple of the tools that we use for proper boot fitting is foot measure. This here helps us get a good gauge on the width of your foot as well as the accurate sizing. We came to the point now where we have decided on the model of the boot and the style of the boot, etc., etc. And now we need to match that specific boot to the skier. So we'll go, we'll go over the, the procedure that, that is used to fit a, do a proper uh, boot fit. To measure the foot exactly, to get an idea of the width and the, and the length of, of the foot, you will, you will see, uh, it's very interesting, very few people have a matching pair of feet. Uh, there is, everybody has uh, one foot that's at least half a size bigger or smaller than the other. So let's have a look. Now we put on the, the socks and we'll, we'll put on the socks that uh, Krista will be actually skiing in. Go, go ahead, please. Okay, now we're, gonna, now we're gonna ask Krista to step into the measuring device. And you stand up, please. You put your heel in the back of the device. Uh, we'll, uh, and, and your left, uh, the left side of the, of the foot on the side of this, of this here. You put it down and now you measure the boot is... Her boot, this right, her right foot is 25.0 and uh, the width is like medium, normal, so a regular boot will fit very nicely. So let's see the other foot now. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Krista's left foot is 24 and a half, so it's half, if half size smaller than her right foot. That happens to everybody on the planet. We have chosen the, the boots that will fit that size. These are, these are boots size 25. Obviously, you have to fit the, the, the foot that has the, the larger side or else uh, there'll be some pain involved. Next thing now to confirm the, the measurement that we took with the, with the measuring device is uh, to do what we call a shell fit. We take the liner out of the boot and we get the, the skier stepping into the, into the boot. So please step in, step in the boot. And now move yourself all the way to the front of the boot till you, till you touch the end of the boot and bend your knee to the position where you would be when you're skiing and stay there. Now we use this high-tech device and measure the, the fit in the back. Well, we just have a look. Um, generally, for recreational skiers, you would want to have about three quarters of an inch uh, of, a, of a clearance. And as the performance of the, of the skier goes up, the, 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 uh, we would be making the fit a little tighter and tighter until for racers we go to fits that are less than half inch to even a quarter of an inch. At this point it's a, it's a good idea to point out that most of the ski boots uh, are equipped with a footbed that is of the simple nature, very thin, very limited su uh, support and uh, a large, large number of, of skiers and definitely the advanced skiers uh, prefer to have some degree of customization in terms of uh, their footbeds. The first step from, from the, the basic commercial uh, footbed to the, the next, to the next level 
is what we have here. Uh, this happens to be a product made by Superfeed. Not necessarily uh, you need to buy a Superfeed, but something of, of that sort. It's an item that will give a skier a little bit of a heel lift, a little bit more support, and uh, a little bit of, a, of an arch support. So uh, this would be the step to take to make this, the boot slightly more uh, better fitting and, and slightly better performing. The ultimate solution for every skier would be a, an orthotic fitted footbed. That is a reasonably or relatively expensive uh, solution. But on the other hand, it's an orthotic footbed that can be transferred from one, one boot to another, even into shoes. And uh, there is a lot of, there are many uh, insurance programs that actually cover uh, the cost of uh, orthotic custom footbeds. It's time now to put the liner back in and uh, try the, the actual f uh, boot and do the actual fitting of the, of the ski boot. Like you don't... Step in, put your foot in, right, and just relax. You notice that we buckle up the first buckle, not very tightly, not very tightly here. Now we come to the buckle that makes a lot of difference in terms of fitting a boot. And there is this buckle here that will push Krista's foot back into the, into the heel pocket. There is a heel pocket that is designed in, into, the, uh, into the liner to uh, make a snug fit for her, for her toe, uh, for her heel. And so now uh, I will tighten the, the Velcro on top of the, uh, on top of the boot and buckle up the last, the last buckle. At this point, at this point, the, the fit, this is a good time to ask Krista how she feels, whether there are any points, whether there are any, any pressure points, whether actually the volume of the boot is what we expected, whether the boot is uh, too tight or too loose, and uh, the way we will describe it, first of all, is that maybe we'll give it a little kick uh, so that the, heel, that the heel is in the right place. Okay, and now, if you just bend your knees and stay in this position, and now you describe to us where the toe is, whether the toe is touching. The toe should be close to the end of the shell, but there should be enough freedom to move, to move. If you had a piano in there, you could play piano with your toes. So when my knee is bent forward like this, yes. I can feel my toes right at the end of the boot just touching. They're completely flat, but they are not bent. And if I were to have to play piano with my toes, mm. I definitely could. We got Krista fitted in, into these boots quite comfortably, uh, but let's not celebrate yet. Um, well, what we will recommend and we recommend it with, with uh, some, of the, some of the customers, not all of them, uh, to take the boots uh, and spend one or two hours in them at home, not necessarily even walking, just sitting, watching television or whatever, and getting used to the boot, letting the liner adjust itself to the foot because the liner actually will, will uh, adjust itself, it will change uh, its shape uh, with, uh, with the heat of the foot. And uh, if there are any, points developed that, uh, that are sore, the boot can be adjusted uh, and uh, made completely, absolutely uh, comfortable. Uh, at this point, what we want to say also is that at Kunstad Sports, we guarantee fit. Uh, that means that if a customer is fitted by one of our associates in a store uh, for a pair of boots, we guarantee that those boots will fit on the hill. If uh, sometimes it happens that perhaps we uh, have been wrong, that we have to uh, redo it, we guarantee that fit. We will either adjust the boots until they fit, or we will ultimately even replace the boots to make sure that there is absolute satisfaction guaranteed. It's very important to know that when you first put your boot on at the store, it's not supposed to feel like a slipper. So you need to keep in mind that the liner inside of the boot is going to flex out over time. So it's pretty important to know that when you initially put on that boot, that it is going to feel a little bit tighter and that's okay because after a good 
you know, maybe two, three days out on the hill that that liner will pack out and it's much better to have a boot that fits a little tight. We encourage you to watch our accompanying video in which we discuss ski and binding selection. Once you have selected your skis, bindings and boots, it's very important that you do come in and get your skis, bindings and boots professionally adjusted. Here at Kunstedt Sports, we have technicians that are professionally certified to adjust your skis and bindings to your boots in order to ensure proper skiing and safe skiing.